the principals were clearly happy with the Tara. Let's listen to what Fai Loading has said. At the stronghold, Yamutu Fulani. At the elder, your stronghold, your Jubilee. At the Kenya, in the Madilika. Right, uh, by loading, and we'll show you, was, was uh, buoyed, and so were the other principals, if you saw that rally, with the crowds uh, that they saw there. They definitely believe the crowds mean something, but do they? Uh, let me say, you can hear uh, Raila's thinking, uh, stronghold, they are mutu fulani. Uh, because that is a mentality that a certain region belongs to somebody who I will need to get to trade with. I want to say crowds in, in, in politics have, 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 uh, have two meanings. One, they could mean that people are supporting you. Two, mm -hmm. there are those who could be coming to watch you. And I want to tell Raila Odinga, because I was in Eldoret yesterday mm -hmm. after about noon. Mm -hmm. I actually came back, I got back to Nairobi at about one, so I must have left Eldoret about 12.30. And I, I, I drove through town and I, I had occasion even to speak to taxi drivers and everybody I came across in town. <laughs> and people are saying, watch a twenty to Kaona here, Anasa, Anasa. <laughs> Therefore, there are those who are going to see the Anasa. <laughs> so it shouldn't mean anything according and to the I, I, I will tell you for a fact, Raila Odinga should forget about the Rift Valley vote. The, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, and, and not be cheated by the crowds that he has seen the in the Rift Valley. Okay, but he's the one who just started by saying... Let him come to yes, Chiambu yes. tomorrow. Okay, when you <laughs> respond, be similar crowd. When you're responding to this, you started by saying there shouldn't be anything like strongholds or that mentality. You're the one now who's <laughs> Strong, saying we should stronghold, not Stronghold, I was, I was speaking out from what Raila says. Stronghold, Yamutu Fulani. But being a party stronghold, I will tell you, Rift Valley is solidly <laughs> solidly in jubilee <laughs> what do you make of that uh, last year uh, when the republican party was holding its uh, primaries in america mm -hmm. trump donald trump was attracting huge crowds and that thinking of kimani shunga was in the hillary <laughs> clinton camp i remember hillary clinton calling them a basket full of deplorables mm -hmm. y you know and that they will not even vote he won the primaries and went on to occupy the White House. In politics, especially in a context such as ours, crowds are a big indicator of the direction things are taking. So is this next clip an indicator as well, if you can have a look at that? Yes, uh, we, you can explain. It's okay. not always, yes. This is in Lugari. Deputy President William Ruto was there. He also had crowds. Is, it, is that also an indicator in a perceived I am very, uh, I'm very opposition happy. Stronghold. I'm very happy. <laughs> you can see that the crowd is in uniform, meaning these are people who have been brought there deliberately. Uh, to that. Look, they are all in uniform. Let me, uh, no, no, look I, here. I think, I think no, that's number one. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. You, let me finish. you, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot say just listen, listen. Let me finish. People are wearing let, me let me finish. Have been brought. You'll get your chance. That uniform you see throughout the crowd is indicative of a serious political party. crowd of people who have been ferried that venue. Number two. That's what you think. That's what you think. It doesn't, what I doesn't think. mean that it's my thing. It may not be factual. Yeah. It doesn't have to be factual. Okay. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. And okay. you can see there that those facts don't lie. Number two, <laughs> William Ruto is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. He's in power. We have not even uprooted the provincial administration. Using the instrument of state power, it is very possible for you to activate, ac to put in, in, in place. Uh, I've got a bit of an issue with that, Professor. Please, go ahead. Uh, for instance, what about Baringo? Where was the public administration? Which one? Who was in Baringo? You know, when the deputy president was there. They are, you know, they, they, we didn't see this kind of uh, crowd. You see, yeah. however, there are, some now, let me just just there, there are some places where there could be open hostility. The kind of stuff that's going on between Gideon Moore and Deputy President William Ruto could create an environment of hostility, that's true. which you could explain why perhaps the Deputy President may not get significant crowds in Baringo. Not necessarily, because you can't say that uh, uh, Gideon Moy is the absolutely embraced political leader in the entire Baringo. However, now, going to the issue of these crowds mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. for example, in, at 64 and uh, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the thing is this. It doesn't necessarily mean that all of the individuals who went to 64 Stadium are people who adore and will support and vote at the end for, 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 NASA, for NASA. 
But the thing is this, it must now send Jubilee strategies to the drawing board. Because of this, remember that lots of conversations are going on in this country. There are some people who are agitated and displeased by the manner in which Jubilee has delivered on some promises that right. they made into the I, I, I think also that's the, the difference. Mm. Yes. Uh, but also remember that there are people who are curious about the excitement of this new phenomenon that NASA is. So they could have come, as you said, possibly right to see that they came to see <laughs> what this coalition okay. is going to let, 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 let me say this to him. Uh, ju ju just in, uh, in, uh, in but, but just to before what you say, speak, yeah. not, strangers, it cannot yeah. be forgotten then that uh, for a long time, and possibly as we move into the August election, that the Rift Valley and Eldred itself may largely remain a Jubilee support base. Okay. Not, not just because it was and has been. It's because people identify with what you tell them. And I want to tell you, when you poll crowds, and crowds are important in politics, what people take home with, uh, take home, uh, take away home, okay. is what matters. And the, the, the Anasa show in, in 64 Stadium, people took away nothing other than insults and sarcasm. When Deputy President William Ruto is in Lugari, mm -hmm. is in Kakamega, mm -hmm. he's telling people in Bungoma, he's telling people about the revival of the uh, Webuya paper mills. He's talking about things that the government and the Jubilee administration has been able to do. And that is what the population and the crowds take home. Okay. And that is what makes the difference between whether you're able to turn your crowds into votes. Remember um, uh, this another group, uh, the same group, uh, Will, uh, what is them, uh, Raila Odinga, um, Kalonzo Musioka, pull huge crowds, probably even better than TNA and URP were able to pull in the last election. Okay. But were unable to have a solid agenda. Today, they still lack a solid agenda that they can sell. Before I, before I advise Ichungu and even the Jubilee listeners are listening, let me tell you, there's not much that uh, Deputy President William Ruto can tell people of Western. And the one you have cited of pan paper is an insult. The government has sold pan paper at about 900 billion shillings. Is it employing people in if what you mean? look, Even if you were to sell perhaps the machinery as scrap, has it revived and it The land on which it is turned, in including prime property I hear, I'm not quite sure about that, let me j j say, but I hear this prime property even in Daiga for 900 billion shillings per paper that's an insult to the people of western kenya but let me say so you'd rather to my advice to you my advice to you kimani Shungwa, is if you believe wants to have a chance of making a comeback in august this year they must take seriously what is going on in rift valley i have said before on this bench let me just finish by saying because of the indication of the crowd the rift valley it should be an indication the rift valley the mm. kalenji nation might just be the place to go to find out who will win the election and therefore when you look at what's going on in eldoret mm. when raila and his team brings a whole town to a standstill and here is a guy saying <laughs> it means nothing. Okay. So well, I'm a little worried for Jubilee okay, now. Okay, I'm a little worried for you Jubilee. If you're saying, if you're saying the crowds are... Because I like Jubilee. They are good people. Saying, if you're saying the crowds are... The why, why, is it, why is it that crowds in Lugari are not an indicator? As I as have told so you, I have explained it. The crowds in Lugari are in uniform. These are foreign people. But I think that is not a fact. That is not a fact. That is not a fact. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, just give me the right of reply on that, especially on the question of foreign people. We could say the same of 64 stadium, uh -huh. that they ferried people from, you know, Lugari is uh, like 40 minutes. They are not government. Lugari, Lugari <laughs> they are not government. Is from they are not government. <laughs> Lugari, uh, 64 stadium is about, is about an hour. But from Trans or Yahweh. Masa is not government. Masa is not government. But I want to say this. Let me just finish my point. I want to remind Manyora that in 2013, and I, I, and I take you that on what you are telling us about the Kalenji Nation yes. in the Rift Valley. Yes. In 2013, Including myself, I was worried because Raila Odinga went out just like Manyara is saying today and told us that this man called William Ruto is calling you and he will not deliver even 30% of the Rift Valley. The Rift Valley voted to the man for Uhuru Kenyatta and I want to assure you that, that, was, that was then we are not worried about it we, 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 we are not taking any that was then we are not taking any of for granted I'm advising you let me, uh, I'm not a politician I've had your advice okay. and I'm only responding by telling you I love Jubilee we are not we are not 
Nyanza even in the uh, in, in the coast and the uh, western Kenya in yeah. Kisi and everywhere else we will engage with people and I want to assure you the people of Kenya because they identify with an ideology of uniting this country and transforming Kenya and changing people's lives and they can see what this government has been able to do in a period of just three years remember this is the fourth year okay. that we are in government okay. and we can see tangible things All right. you may believe me what I've been done you may believe me what I've been done you may believe me what I've it is no brainer that the Rift Valley matters so much for Jubilee, especially as we go into the August elections. Okay. And they must make sure that that house is retained solidly together. Okay. However, I think, uh, and this to Honorable uh, Ichungwa, if you can uh, relay this information, Jubilee is feeling, national TV. Yes, you are doing the same. Is feeling yeah. terribly to know how to communicate and to manage, first of all, to manage people's expectations and anxieties in its strongholds and to communicate, even if possible, a uh, uh, path of success okay. that it wants its supporters to yeah, 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 said yeah, he had yeah, because he said they will go and engage, that one he passed, but then he brought issues where yeah, they have uh, done. Uh, the moment you bring <laughs> issues of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will communicate to the Rift Valley. I want to tell you, we will not just communicate to the Rift Valley. We will communicate to all our followers. Thank you, thank you for making time for Game Plan 2017 tonight. Even more interesting is that NASA has lined up other rallies still in perceived Jubilee strongholds all week, starting tomorrow in Meru and thicker later this week. So it'll be interesting to watch uh, what will be going on. But thank you so much, gentlemen, for making, for making time for us. If we can have a uh, look at your feedback uh, right now, what you've been saying on Twitter. Right, and we have uh, Jumam Kenya. Rally attendance is just that. Not, no relationship with boats, okay. Walters. Tim Joe saying, becoming a governor of Nairobi is not a matter of life and death. What happened in Dagoretti must never happen again. Peter Ogada, politics is really a dirty game for peaceful, loving Kenyans that us speech peace. And Godi Baraza, where the supposed rift in the rift will have a sizable impact on Ruto's 2022 political matrix. But I'd love to look at more of your feedback, but as always, it's not uh, obviously possible to look at all of them. But again, as always, we thank you. Uh, for your feedback, for your texts and comments on Twitter and 22422. Thank you for watching. I'm Hussein Mohammed. Have a good night.